Hi, I'm Teresa Alvarez Diaz with MrsDiazTalks.com, welcoming you on this special occasion as I have invited some of my students to share their thoughts regarding the value of women and their vision for the future of women in society. Today, we honor the International Day of the Woman and on behalf of For Real Women International, the organization that's dedicated to empowering women one woman at a time so they can change their lives, their families, their communities, and thus the world. I welcome you. Ladies, I'd like to introduce them. Um, behind me, I have Victoria Lara. Um, she is a sophomore here at Calexico Mission School. Next to her is Elizabeth Moreno, who is an eighth grader. And this is her first year studying in the US and we're really proud of her because she said, yes, I'll do it, even if she's just learning the language. So we're really proud of her. And next to me is um, another sophomore. Um, this is Ana Fernanda Bernal. And ladies, thank you so much. Ana Fernanda, talk to us about um, the value of women and why is that important, especially for a young person like you? Yeah, um, well, I think that um, knowing your value and your self-worth, I think it's very important because sometimes, um, like we were talking about it earlier, that we like say, oh, like we're ugly, oh, like I'm fat. But in reality, it's just a mental thing that we have. I don't know why. But we always say that, and I feel like... Maybe social media sometimes, yeah, right? Social gives media. you wrong messages, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I feel like we're beautiful in all ways. Like, we're unique, and, like, we're the best, I, I guess. Like. Yes, and, um, you know, we were also talking about it's important how um, you see yourself and the messages that you give to yourself. So what positive messages do you give yourself? Give us an example. So other girls watching this know what they can do to have a, a, a you know better um, understanding of how valuable they are yeah well i think that some something that i would do is like go to a mirror and say you're beautiful there yeah. you go so yeah. looking in the mirror and saying you're beautiful you don't have to wait for anybody to tell you you tell yourself right yes. that's awesome thank you so much okay victoria tell us about the value of you know, supporting other women, you know, or, around, because we were, we were discussing that earlier. So talk to us about yeah, that. So totally, it's super important. And I think one way that's really easy for any girls out there watching this to do it is by finding strong female figures that you know, strong mentors that you know, you know, your family, your teachers, your friends, and just using that inspiration to drive you and to motivate you and to power you up. Excellent. Do you have any um, I know you have role models, you, mm -hmm. you know, so you can talk about some of your role models and then also tell me, um, where do you find a mentor? Mm -hmm. So one of my personal role models and inspirations, a mentor would be my aunt. She's a very inspirational woman to me. She is a single mother. She raised her kids, her kids and grandkids by herself. So to me, that's really inspirational the way that she motivated herself and drove forward. And to any other girls that are struggling to find one, I would encourage you to look in the media and by media, I don't mean for I don't mean social media. You know, out there there can be a lot of misleading figures. So I would say definitely look to politics, as my friend over here will mm -hmm. explain later. There's a lot of new platforms opening up for women in business and politics and government. So I would just say look around your area, look at your governors, look at your your presidents. You know, a lot of opportunities are opening up. So I think it'll be. A very exciting thing to see in the future. Excellent. Okay. And Elizabeth, tell us a little bit about your dreams as a young woman and how you see yourself in the future. Okay. I want to enter to the polit politic things. Uh huh. Politics. Politics, um, yeah. Um, I think that we can do it. Like, for security, uh, security, um, some person's going to say like, oh, you can do it, you are crazy, but I think that no. We can do whatever thing if we um, if we have determination to do it, we can do it. Excellent. So what do you dream with in politics? How far do you want to go? Uh, governor of California. Of course. Governor of California, all right. I'm looking forward to voting for you, sweetheart. <laughs> Excellent. And you know, I know all of these ladies have big dreams. Uh, that's one of the reasons that I'm really excited that they are part of this um, 
you know, a few minutes that we can share uh, with you. I know that um, Victoria is really interested in politics also. Um, and you're interested in actually being a community, uh, you know, um, supporter, organizer, where, you know, you, um, I know you talked about organizing women who have been you know, abused or who, you know, are in, in relationships that they need to um, get out of, right? Mm -hmm. And just kind of helping them. So I'm really excited for the future as I see these um, young women. Actually, for today, I'm excited that they are part of um, our world. And I know that they will make this world a better place for everyone, including the women that they will support. Thank you. As always, I remind you to elevate your frequency so you can live and to subscribe to our channel. My name is Teresa Alvarez Diaz, and I wish you the very best and celebrate on this International Day of the Woman with all of your friends and family as we recognize the value of women in society. Blessings. Have a great week. Bye-bye.